What would I do if I could be? He's got a rocket. His arm is being pulled back by by tiny cartoon animals. Well, you've as always, far back as possible and then flung forward. You've always said that I throw like a woman, so that you do throw like a woman. Guy. Super flag, bro. You actually look like our mom throwing. You realize she was throwing the whole thing, right? That? By far, it's not nice. Super flag, bro. I would say by the two of us combined, but the two of us combined is actually worse than yeah. one of us by ourselves. I hate you guys. Um, PB and Jelly have a couple of veterans on their team as well. We have Joseph Cano and Jay Strachan. They both played for Griffin before. Joseph Cano being a receiver and a very good receiver catching. Uh, Welcome everyone, you are listening to perhaps watching Super Flag Bros. The uh, pause you heard and or saw was my annoyance at our technical director, the Eagle of Master Control. Thanks. I do it because he's terrible. Uh, to my left, the man putting his hand in a <laughs> Ziploc bag of mayonnaise is these Del Oh, that feels amazing. <laughs> Can you pour the milk? Because he only has one hand left now. I, uh, I Can was you just I pour uh, that milk? We will, we will, we will I, I, get there. I really don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> you guys didn't think this through. So I, actually, you know what? <laughs> this, thing, this thing needs a Ziploc. And it's actually very therapeutic. I feel less angry right now. Thank you very Pour much. Pour the milk! There's no way that can feel good. I, I don't so, need, yeah. I, I'm delaying this because the, the, the quicker you drink it, the better it is for everyone. Uh, but can you pour this glass of chocolate milk? I will gladly chocolate. do it. It smells terribly this uh, time. <laughs> so, yeah, Chapman, we're going to need you to produce the Ziploc bag. Uh, uh, as should I'm we calling uh, over the producer, Chapman? Should we, uh, should we explain? Should we explain what's yes, going on? Yes, let's explain. So, thank you. Uh, as as we uh, as we do each week, we have the table of terror where we randomly select teams uh, who will compete, and uh, they are they will be our champions heading into that week. The, the team we expect to win, Thanks, although it's that's completely that's at random. Tight. That's way too tight. Thank you. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> the the uh, the reason we do it, of course, is that. Uh, which the games are completely random. We have no way of actually knowing anything. So therefore, we decided we'll choose the games at random anyway. Uh, Dee's uh, lost th this week. Uh, yeah, you, I lost. Who'd you, who'd you I, have? I chose ball, uh, ball busters. You didn't choose. You were chosen ball busters. I, yeah. Uh, and uh, Chapman lost as well. Who'd you have? Uh, Fat and the Furious. Yeah, the Fat and the Furious. Chapman had Fat and the Furious, and they lost as he well. Has, he has a chocolate milk challenge, and I have the second hand trap. Yeah, second hand trap is uh, Dee's needs to do the entire show with his hand in a Ziploc bag of mayonnaise. I don't. I don't think you know what the backstory is about the ha second hand trap. I don't. Please tell. And the way it works is that if you're about to marry a woman that's from Sagney, as I will, mm -hmm. uh, you have to prove that you can withstand a full, uh, uh, you know. A full library of live of living library. the hand of a living the hand inside a, a bag of mayonnaise uh, within a period of time that is cho it's at the discretion of uh, of the judge, which is Pizzillaries. Yeah. Now, uh, supposing I can last this long, maybe I can get married for once. Um, I don't think any of that's true. As I pour another glass of chocolate milk for Chapman, our producer, who needs to drink two liters of chocolate milk before the break, uh, and I'll. Uh, <laughs> this show's gotten completely <laughs> off the rail. We haven't even started the show yet, so of course I am Pease. Get it. Uh, I'm joined by Dee's, our uh, our co-host and producer Chapman. Of course, you can follow yeah. Dee's at uh, uh, Dave's Republic, and of course you can find Chapman yeah. at wherever my pantry is empty. Um, so let's get right into the action, yes. guys. As we've wasted Please. enough time. Uh, yeah. I had a whole rant about Valentine's Day, but no, I'll, I'll do it after Valentine's Day, where I'll be broke. Yeah. Um, so we have Jean Guy facing off against CMS Laval. Jean Guy won 19 to 12. Yeah. Simon Simon Laporte is it smells disgusting. It is. It does. Simon terrible. Laporte is the key for Jean Guy. In this game, he had a sack and an 18-yard touchdown catch. Should uh -huh. he big, be a bigger role in this offense? <laughs> uh, first of all, get over yourself. This is not a big issue. You shouldn't be laughing for no reason. Uh, when we come down to you're asking me about Simon Laporte, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So uh, tall, for, big Russian right. guy. Uh, for this game if specifically, uh, he provided a lot, a lot for this team. Like I feel like they didn't play <laughs> very well as uh, as a team in general. But uh, yeah. but no no no. But let me let me let me finish my point, please. Look, Simon Lepore, uh I when I when I scouted this game, there's there's something I noticed. He provides uh, so much pressure. It's crazy. I mean, just rushing the passer. It's almost like you have no time to throw the ball. Uh, but also on offense, it's very interesting because he didn't play very much. But his touchdown, the 18-yard touchdown we talk about, uh, you know, I feel like it was. He should get a lot more credit. <laughs> should get a lot more credit than 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 than, an eight, than for 18 yards. I feel like he. Uh, I, I, I feel I feel like that touchdown was worth a lot more because of the amount of sidestepping he did to avoid tacklers. Uh, but when I'm saying so, this was this was essentially a 25-yard touchdown 
uh, pass. But, you know, I, like when I see Simon Lepore, I feel like he is the key for this team. But should he be a bigger role on offense? Should he have a bigger role on offense? You know, not not really. Uh, you know, from what I saw from this team, I feel like they're they're doing just fine aside from the quarterback position, which we'll get into. But I feel like they have they have a lot of weapons on offense that they were able to use very very well. Um, and they have a lot of speed. Like from last year, it's a huge difference. Like I feel like they're a lot faster than they were last season. Well, they've, they've always been a quick team, and we will not get into the quarterback conversation because we did that last week. Did we? However, did we really go? Yeah, we did. Alex Gurnan versus. Oh no, I did that in the but he's, newsreel. He's okay though. I feel like they could do better than that though. I don't know. I, I felt. So I felt they're, like they're, they're dating below their level, like to the quarterback position. Yes. They gotta. They gotta try not kick the coverage. Uh, for CMS Laval, Etienne Miron did not play. But now CMS has officially started three quarterbacks in three weeks. How should they get their offense in order? Okay, uh, for CMS in sp specifically, I think they actually had a pretty good week. I don't think the quarterback was the issue this week. Watching that game, it was just a really, really, really sloppy game. It just seems like no, 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 no. But he's no, but he's not terrible. Like, and okay. I and I don't think. Like I, I, I love that you keep describing guys as not terrible. So no one's good. Yeah, it's but it's Division varying Six. Varying degrees it's of terrible. Division Six. We played in yeah. Division Three. We've we've seen what this is. This 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 is what it's like. When I look at when I look at this team, I, I it's weirdly like I don't feel like the quarterback plays really the issue. I think missed tackles and missed tackles are such a humongous missed opportunity. I think as as a team, like it can turn a, a missed tackle can turn like a sure uh, fourth down into a first down. You know, and I think that that really ruins you as a team. So I think they got to get. I, I think before blaming the quarterback, it's really a defensive issue more than anything else. Uh, TDs and beer put up forty three as they destroyed. Can we just can, uh, can we just can we just pull, pull this back for a second? We didn't talk a second pull about PB. Yeah, no, we didn't p t talk about PB and J at all. Well, because that's the next game we're gonna do. Right. Um, I'll, pre I'll pretend like that's what my intention was. <laughs> TDs and beer uh, destroy Goon Squad forty-three to seven. It wasn't um, Goon Squad. You're not paying attention. That was that was last week's game. They played against Trojans this week. No, it was against Goon no, Squad. No, they played against Trojans. They played can, against Trojans this can week. Can not Goon Squad. Do a check on this, please. Yes, I checked. I checked just before coming here. You're wrong. This All is. Right. They played against Trojans. They didn't play against Goon Squad last week. They won. They they won. They won against. Um, they won against Trojans this week. It wasn't. It wasn't a terrible game. That being said, uh, for B, for PB and J. Um, you know, on the sideline, um, they were telling me like, "Oh, you know, uh, I, we should get more coverage, whatever." You know what? We'll give you coverage. You guys are good. You're not there yet. Uh, Stephen Cano is a very good, a pretty, pretty decent quarterback. But there's a lot Cano, of mistakes. That's PB and Jelly. Uh, PB and Jelly. I'm talking about PB and Jelly. I'm that's not, not the game I'm talking Which about. Which game are you talking about? I'm talking about TDs and Beer and Goon Squad. Right, but I think you, uh, yeah. who who did who did TDs and Beer play against? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this going. Hold on a second. <laughs> we need to resolve <laughs> this issue. The oh. show is so fast. I got a hand. I got a hand. My mistake. He's freaking, he's freaking chocolate milk. I got a hand inside a bag of mayonnaise. I don't know how I'm supposed to concentrate in this place. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad Evans was concentrated. He threw seven touchdowns. Um, can he keep up this level of play? Because the, the issue with Brad Evans has always been his inconsistency in the past. So TDs, yes. So so let to correct TDs and Beer played Trojans, not Goon Squad. But yes, I, I think for 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 Brad Evans, like in general, uh, a pretty good season, right? Sixteen touchdowns, five hundred touchdowns, very very minimal amount of uh, uh, in a touchdowns. For my issue with Brad Evans, it's the amount of sacks that he takes in the game. I I feel like at this point, seven sacks in the game is quite a bit. Uh, that being said, um, he's been playing pretty well. He's don't give me that cup. I'm not going to fill you no more chocolate milk. Just hand it over to him. I will gladly fill him. But some chocolate uh, milk. I I feel like I, I feel like. Uh, he is definitely the type of quarterback that I can see uh, succe uh, succeeding in Division Six. Um, at this point, maybe a Division Five quarterback, but uh, definitely plays pretty well. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, uh, I, I I could see I could foresee TDs and Beer doing extremely well. Uh, obviously, I can't wait for them to play tip-top shape this this season to see what they're really made out of. Absolutely. Um, as for the last game on the docket, we have PB and Jelly beating Victoria's Secret 27 to 14. Victoria's Secret are now 0 and 4, having not scored more than 18 points in a single game. Do they have? But do they have a, uh, a hidden gem in Giovanni Bavada, who has seven interceptions so far this season? Uh, you know, honestly, very very nice player to have on your team. Like especially well, seven interceptions helps. Right? Definitely, yeah, def definitely really helps. Um, and 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 I uh, watching Victoria's Secret, I, I don't think that they're that they're very very far off. Yeah. Like I really don't. I, I think that 
Uh, the quarterback play this week was definitely elevated. I, you know, it's it's a shame that that, that they lost to the PBMJ because I didn't feel like PBMJ specifically had a very very good matchup. However, I'm pretty impressed with the fact that PBJ is able to put up a lot of points this season. Like they're at about 117 points so far, and that's pretty that's pretty decent. Like for First. Division Six standards, it's pretty good. And and um, they also have a very active defense. They they cause a lot of four and outs, not necessarily reflected yeah. on the stat sheet. Um, is this part of the reason that they have such an efficient offense? The fact that they give their offense a good field position. The issue now is. I don't feel like they were very effective this week specifically. I, I, not not in this game. I know, but in general, I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean. And and but it's still early in the season. There's a lot. There's a lot to see. I can't wait to see more out of PB and J in in the upcoming weeks. At this point, this game specifically, I thought that they could have dominated a lot more. Like I felt like they were playing down to their opposition. Uh, that being said, um, it's impressive to see where they're at. I, I'm I'm really excited to see them play Jean Guy uh, on March second. Uh, March second is going to be a big day for me to watch because I, we're going to watch the two top teams. Jean Guy and PB and J played themselves uh, played themselves out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> played themselves out. I don't know if that's the thing. I don't, I don't uh, know. But that that being said, I don't know um, how to react to that. That being said, you you asked me about about uh, about Bavada. Bavada had a great game, two interceptions. Uh, I mean, that's exactly what you want to see out of you know, I, 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 that's what you want to see out of your team at this point. You know, that's fair. Chapman, what are your thoughts on PB and Jelly so far? They're awesome. Well. awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. How's, how's your stomach Saturday? feeling so far? It feels slightly less awesome. And uh, how's your glass? Your glass empty? It's half empty. <laughs> so you, you're very, <laughs> very pessimistic. Um, well, why is there no, why is there no alcohol on that? It's just that, that it's not, I feel like it's unfair that he's well, drinking at the rate that milk. he's drinking it. It would not be okay for him to be drinking that much. Yeah, alcohol. but has he ever put his hand in a sack of uh, sack of mayo though? That's true. Uh, yes, no. no. This guy, I don't know how many showers I have to take to take off this mayo off my hand. Uh, yeah, and, and with that, as I pour him another gl uh, glass of chocolate milk, we have overreactions with Chapman. So, speaking of PB&J... Yeah, let's speak about it. And uh, Duke butchering his name. I'm pretty sure his name is Joseph Kano. Or at least how that's what I'm going to call him. how did I see it, though? Kano. Kano. Oh, oh excuse, excuse me. Kano. Excuse me for not pronouncing a K properly. Huh? And apparently Duke is right, but I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, that's anyways, he's going to be the QB of the year. QB of the year? No, uh, he's not. Six. No, he's not. Get out of here. He's not. He is. He's not. He's wrong. You're wrong. What, what's your rationale? What's your rationale? You know, uh, TD to INT ratio, 6 to 1. Six yeah, but you're just looking at stats. That has nothing to do with it. it everything with stats. It, what, what did it have to do with? This, this league is stat-based. This guy's a stat, this guy's a stat man. He loves stats. I love okay. him. He loves stats. Speaking of stats, yep. um, the Sabre versus Ravens game this week basically featured... Awesome. Either a lot of offense or zero defense. 600 total yards of offense. 600 yards of offense, okay. Yeah, Max Marini apparently rushed uh, for 156 yards, which beats all of the, uh, the leaders in the league. And I, thi I think that's actually a like, record Like as a season combined? Season combined, yeah. Everyone played four games. He has, in that one game, beat everybody no, out. No, 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 joke, no, no joke. Uh, his feet... It's like Lex Neville. Uh, ne ne uh, wait, not Lex Neville. Lex Neville. <laughs> Lex Neville feet. Ne next level Why feet. can't you pronounce words? <laughs> I have a hand His hand. His hand. Right <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. Know. It's clinging to your arm. It's becoming yeah. a problem. Uh, is, are we I don't do want to sit next to you. Like, are I'm not in my shot. Are we, we going to do this next season? To. I'm not down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to renegotiate my Overreaction number three. Oh, I was going to say they both need to buy new defenses. And number buy three. Them. Buy them. Yes. Where do you buy a defense? Kijiji. Kijiji. Fair. It's probably a creepy guy in his basement, but go ahead. I hate you. I hate Des you. Desperate, desperate times. This is such a waste of my time. So basically, there's two groundhogs that died. Well, who? Two groundhogs. Yeah, Winnipeg Willow and uh, New Jersey's, who I like his name better, Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall Jackson's pretty intense. So, but that's not an overreaction. That's a fact. That's a thing. That, that is a fact. What I'm saying is, is that spring's not coming. It's never coming. No, no, we're skipping. We're skipping spring. We're going straight into summer. Just All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's, it kind of feels like it's, it's heading there anyway. At this yeah. Point. Um, of course, I, I forgot to remind everyone. What are we talking about? I am so confused. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do with this bag of mayo. I'm, I'm afraid it's going to leak all over my is pants. Is he getting high this off mayonnaise? This, this, guy, this guy is eating chocolate milk. He's drinking chocolate milk. Eating chocolate milk. I don't know what else to do right now. What are, we, what are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about because we all know that Nicolas Cage truthfully proclaimed that two Rogers don't make a right. Get your... Get your Get, right, get your season right by getting outfitted at Sportira Cage, the official sponsor uh, and uh, jersey provider of FPF. You have a few seconds left, Chapman. We're about to get into breaks, so uh, you better chuck that down. Is there anything Let's left? get your glass going. Is there anything left? Absolutely. There's a little bit left. Um, I never realized that mayonnaise would smell as bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, again, table of terror, guys. Just a real quick recap. 
Chapman's going to drink up. Up. chocolate milk. Hurry up. He's going to drink chocolate milk, he said, because he got interrupted. Because he lost, he lost his game. These yes. little has to have his hand in a bag of mayonnaise. This agony hand trap to prove that I'm a man in front of my woman before I get married. And, and also if I do this lost. for her, I'm proving it. I hope not. Um, and uh, with that, we'll be back after a quick break. You haven't looked at it once. So that was the most bizarre. You haven't looked at it once. Eagle Look American at it. Control, trying to shave seconds off the show. Look at it. I'm not looking. It's disgusting. <laughs> you're disgusting. You're, your arm hair is full of mayonnaise. I know. I, see it. I don't know how you're going to get it out. This was this your idea. The most uncomfortable drive home. This is your right? idea. I think this full, your idea. full blame, full credit. Um, I am Peace Delores, of course. I am joined by my brother, my super flag bro himself. I hate uh, you. These Delores. I hate everything about you. <laughs> he's he's having to encounter his punishment, of course, from the table of terror. If you uh, want to tune in to see which teams we will choose as our champions, uh, that happens at eight o'clock. See, uh, stay tuned while you you can predict from home uh, to see. Um, who you think will be enduring punishments next week? I myself have two punishments. I need to buy a round of drinks for the Colin the Audible staff. Oh, boo hoo. What it's else? It's going to be a giant bill. Yeah, it way. is. Okay, what um, else? You said one round. What was my other one? What was my other yeah, one? Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't seem like much. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like, oh, let me just buy some Coronas yeah, like for everybody. Everyone's bringing their girlfriends. <laughs> Jim's grandmother's here. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Who, what These else? What show. is your other they punishment? They don't want for the show. I don't remember. What's my other punishment? Deeks. Or Chavin. I have two producers. Nobody's doing anything. We're wasting time. Let's move on. Fly oh, Jesus. And the other one, I am uh, Fly <laughs> Jesus. I will need to introduce myself to several Division 6 teams this week, and you'll see how I do it if I come see you. How are you going um, to say it when you talk to the team? Well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna post it on Facebook after it's done. Cool. So uh, tune in, and you'll see that there. Um, this is everyone's favorite segment, and it's particularly more amazing with his hand full of mayonnaise. Yeah, uh, it is Science Hour with Duke. Yeah. Uh, Chapman, go ahead and uh, cue it up for him. So uh, I'm not sure if the Spartans are afflicted with this particular scientific concept, <sighs> but it's called Bragg's Law. Bragg's Law. What are, you guys, what are you guys drinking? You want me to think what this is? What, the, what does Bragg's Law mean? Well, that's what we're asking you because you are the definer. Because what happens in this game is you have to define the term, and that becomes the new definition for the scientific concept. Well, first of all, who, do, who the hell is bra Bragg? That's that's for you to. Can describe. you at least give me some kind of clue or something? It's scientific. Can I spell it's it? For it's you? scientific. So yeah, yeah Chavin <laughs> can spell it for you. How's that? It's B R A double G. Double G? <laughs> yes. yes, double G. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not gonna get it. Like, okay, so some dude. Wait, it's a theory or what? What was, what was the last word? Law. Law. Oh, it's a law. Yeah, it's law. not even a theory. So it's a legit what's thing. His, what's his or her law? Whatever it is, it's that goddamn person who came up with the timing of all the lights in this goddamn city. Every light is so different. You have one light that's like that's like it's green for three seconds. You got a light that's that, that's green for seventeen seconds, and then every other light it takes for forever. So this guy's law, whoever he is, goddamn bragger, he's like, I'm just gonna make every single light different. This week's gonna be three three seconds. Next week's gonna be seven seconds. So uh, Bragg's law is and has always been. That every goddamn light in the city is timed differently. Spoken by a man with his hand in a Ziploc bag full of mayonnaise. It's like hand trap. Chapman, <laughs> it is time for us to make picks. Uh, so please queue up the games. We're one of the few divisions to have games this week, so let's go ahead and make our yeah, picks. Yeah. So, make picks. Uh, Saber FC versus Goon Squad. Yeah, Saber FC. I'm going to go Saber FC. Well, like I, don't, I, don't, doing. I don't think we'll ever. Uh, it's chocolate milk. I, I don't think, I don't think uh, we would ever choose uh, Goon Squad milk. in this uh in, in this in this matchup, next one. Uh, PB and J versus CMS Laval. PB and J. PB and J. Nice. Next. Best offense, best defense. PB and J. Yeah, hundred percent. Diablos versus Spartans. 
I, I'm gonna go with the Diablos on this one. I watched them play a bit this week. They're 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 pretty impressive, man. How about you? What do you think? I'm gonna go with Spartans. Uh, you live, you die by the long ball, and I think they're gonna die by the long ball. Wow. It's funny because I, I I always make fun of everyone for using sports axioms. Yeah. I just load it up on that one. Love what? I don't know. I just said nothing for ten seconds. Next next week's uh, science hour is gonna be uh, axiom. Go next. <laughs> Brick Squad versus Victoria's Secret. Uh, uh, Victoria's Secret on this one. I'm gonna go with Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret because I love breasts. Wow. Team of Al versus Ravens. Ravens. I like Ravens in this one. I think this is where they turn the season around. I hate your face. I'm going to choose Team Laval. All right, Next. fair. Next. Nighthawks versus Gamecocks. It rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose the Hawks over the Cox because the, the, the uh. Hawks, Hawks offense has been impressive. They've had, they've had a soft schedule so far, but they have... Uh, they have some winning experience behind them now. They see what it takes to win an FPF. Go Do Hawks. you have scissors for these goddamn, uh, for this thing? Later, yeah, later. Take it off my later. Hand. Tease and beer versus smoking axolots. Yes, yes, tease and beer. Next. Tease and beer because smoking axolots. Next. Then you lose. Zhang Next. Zhongi versus Gronky Kong. I'm going to go Zhongi on this one, you. Chavin, what do you choose? Because you have a uh, challenge. Gronky Kong needs to get a new QB and Gronky Kong. My elbow, <laughs> my, my, my arm is going to fall off. Uh, I'm going Zhongi. <laughs> Tip what? top shape versus the Trojans. Tip top shape. Is there any question? Why are we asking this? No, next. <laughs> Tip top shape. I like the dual threat running attack. 420 versus NWO. It's not 420. It's <laughs> That's what I'm going to call them. Get your things proper. It's, it's 420 against who? Uh, NWO. It's pretty good, actually. Pretty good game. Good game. What are you going to take, Jeez? No, 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 no. I don't want to know. I'm going to go with the NWO on this one. All right, I'm going 420 blazing. <laughs> we should take a bet on that one. Next week, if you lose, you get a hand, a, 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 sack, a sack of mayonnaise. Uh, unfortunately, someone chose that punishment already. Next! <laughs> uh, no more games. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that, that brings us to Thursday's lesson plan. Uh, the Hall of Fame nominees were, were announced. So take a look uh, as they will. the actual Hall of Fame inductees will be announced this week. It's a, tra- a tradition that we have uh, that during Super Bowl week, there's a bye week in FPF, and that's the time that we use to uh, to announce the Hall of Fame indu- inductees were players, referees, and uh, a media member or contributor as well. Are you uh, included in this list or not? I'm not included. No. So, yeah. Neither is Eagle. Never mind. Which is, which is a little bit contentious. How but, come uh, Eagle's ever been included? In this? He hasn't had enough seasons, according to uh, Rob Campana. Uh, with that, for Dees Delores, for the Angry Eagle of Master Control, for Chapman with this? his upset stomach <laughs> and for the right Mega Mayonnaise, I am Peace Del Reese reminding you, goodbye. I'll always have mayonnaise for my sandwiches from now on. <laughs> okay, can I get this off my hand, please? This is terrible. I'm going to throw this out. <laughs> I, I, I I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you smell disgusting. <laughs> Don't tell anyone.